Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I hope everybody's having a super awesome day today. Um, so today we're going to be diving into the beautiful new Chanel LeBage Summer Life Collection 2020. Um, I have a lot of the collection already because a lot of them are just kind of like repromote or products that they've already had. But I do have the brand new eyeshadow palette in the shade Tender and we also have the new uh, bronzing cream in the new tan color. So we're going to be trying that and swatch comparison with the older one, which um, my roommate let me borrow because she has that. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm a 50 year old makeup artist. I've been in the industry, you know, 20 plus, 25 plus years. I'm saying 20 years, 25 plus years, 30 years. I always forget that part. I don't know why I always forget it, but I never know. I really need to count my years to find out when I'm <laughs> Anyway, I've been in it for a long time. Um, you know, to all my older subscribers, I love you guys. You're just so awesome. And, you know, I would just have to put that in there. I know it may sound a little old after a while, but I just have to let you guys know how much I appreciate you because I just appreciate anybody that subscribes to me. And it's really near and dear to my heart. So it's not something that I just say because it, um, you guys are my friends and I look at you as like my friends and, um, I just love you and I just thank you for all your support and your love. That said, let's dive into this today, guys. So I've got quite a little bit to do. So I've already got brows on. I did a little bit of eyeshadow base and a Natasha Denona. And I did a little bit of the Chanel. I actually got a sample. Um, I got a sample Chanel had sent me. It's the La Volume Re Revolution de Chanel. Um, and I put a little bit of it on. And so we're trying it out a little bit. So I put that on because I always like to start off with a little mascara before I do eyes. So, um, so anyway, so let's get started. To, um, let's go ahead and dive into eyes since I don't have anything else on my face and then we will go back and do finish doing complexion. I did do my Chanel moisturizer, uh, fortifying, replenishing, hydration, and then a little bit of sublimage eye cream underneath. Um, so my skin has a really nice pretty glow, which this line is all about glow and healthiness and looking really pretty. So though it is a really beautiful, it does make your skin look really beautiful. So um, so this is the La Beige in the which means Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in Tender. And the packaging is very simple, and it comes in your stand with your standard Chanel pouch. Um, if you guys have never bought a piece of Chanel, it's the little pouches are common and most of the product, and it has the really beautiful CC. Um, you will see that throughout the rest of this collection, because I'll just kind of show you. I mean, although I've had these products, there's actually one product that you guys have never even seen me use before. So it'll be very interesting. I'm sure you'll be very intrigued by it, but um, but it is, um, the packaging looks really, really stunning. So this is what the product looks like on the inside. Look how pretty that is. That is beautiful. Each palette, and they're $65 a piece. There are two brand new ones in this collection. One, the, the other one that's out is like a, not a bronzy, it's more of a taupey brown color. And I kind of like, you know, I really go more for the roses and the pink tones a lot of times. Um, sometimes the brown just make me look very muted like, and so I don't really care for them. So I just thought this one would be better. So I'm going to go ahead and take out these right here. I'm going to take out the little thing with the little brushes because we're not going to be using those. But again, that's kind of like what it looks like. Um, there is five eyeshadows in here it looks like so I'm gonna just do a really quick swatch for you guys so shade one shade two shade three shade four and shade five so if you guys can see the tips of my fingertips so this is shade one shade two shade three shade four and so we're going to be like, I'm going to be really, do you guys like my little look today? I decided to do a little summery spring look to go with this. I thought it would look really, really pretty with the white shirt and everything. I thought it would kind of be very Chanel-ish and I wanted it to be very summery, Hamptons-like is what I wanted it to be like. So I'm gonna actually use my Chanel mirror. So let's go into the, um, let's go into the lighter shade first. I'm actually gonna take that and we're gonna pack that all over the lid. So we're going to take it and pack it all over the lid. And if you guys have never used the Chanel um, Le Beige colors before, they are um, a little bit more lighter. Um, they're a little bit more of like a, I think they're like more of like a baked formula. Um, so they're, they're um, different from the original Chanel palette. Um, you know, by the way, I'll zoom you guys in. If you guys didn't notice in my last video, I finally figured out how to zoom in. I was like so excited. I was like, oh my God, I can to zoom in. I don't have to zoom in. It's so awesome. I found out how to do it. It's a trick. I found out how to do it. So, so now I know how to zoom in. <laughs> I was just playing with it and I was like, oh my God, I can zoom in now. 
better, but it's very, very peachy, very light, very brightening. So it's not anything superly over the top. So now let's take one brush on the BK Beauty and I'm actually gonna do it in the, let's go down to this rose shade here and I'm gonna swirl my brush a little bit. Now there is some kickback. So just to let you guys know that. So I'm gonna take it and just kind of swirl this, start swirling it in to the crease here a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit more defined. They're very pretty. I mean, it's just a very, and you know, these with the LeBage, you guys just have to keep this in mind too. These are not meant to be the super over the top. Like some of the other Chanel palettes are a little bit more extremely pigmented and they've got a little bit more ump to them. These palettes are meant to be very soft, very pretty, very summery, very spring. Um, you know, they're not meant to be um, heavy and heavy looking or anything like that. They're just to give you a really natural everyday kind of look. I mean, you can kind of glam them up a little because um, it is a Chanel and you can definitely glam it up. But, um, you, I mean, they're meant to be more natural. So if you like more natural shadows or you like that idea, you would love these. Um, if you want a little bit more drama or a little bit more ump, if you're new to Chanel, I would definitely go with one of their um, four pans. I would definitely go with one of their four pans instead. But see how beautiful, it's just very, very smooth. It's very, very light. It's not anything crazy. Um, it's just very pretty. Sorry, my paper's in my way. It's very, very pretty. It's not over the top. I have a different brush and I'm just gonna go in and let's just see if we can build it up just a tad bit more. Cause I am gonna put on some lashes. I got some new uh, House of Lashes. Um, la um, some new one of those and um, we're gonna try those today. So let's see what they look like. So they're, those will also be new today. Let's see how pretty that is. That's just beautiful. Six brush and it's like this. It's just a, it's like an angle brush. Um, and we're gonna take it and tap into the darker shade. I'm gonna tap that off a little bit. And we're just gonna do a line behind my eyes. Hopefully it'll look, it'll make it stand out really pretty. So we're gonna just create a really beautiful line with this. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I want it a little bit more precise so it'll stand up. See, you guys can see it it's very precise. Like. This brush is really awesome. It's a really good brush. I'm gonna take it over to the corner too. And then we're gonna take it up underneath here. And just uh, just a tad bit on the side. Change brush a little bit and just take that and kind of deepen it in there a little bit more. A little bit more. On the lid, I want to go back with my first color that we did, this lighter color. And I wanna just take it and I want to stamp that over there because I want a little bit more of the brightness there and a little bit more in the corner. And I'm gonna take a little bit right here and just kind of blend that lightly under my brow and over here just to give it like a, just a little bit of hot, cause this is a little bit more, it's it's a little bit more of a matte. It's got more of a matte finish to it. It's more of a really sheer matte look to it. Or 31 brush. And I'm gonna go into this one. It looks kind of goldish. I have to tap off a little bit of that. And I'm gonna take it and put it right in here in my inner corner. So it kind of looks like that. And then um, this, then I'm gonna go in this really sparkly shade here. Um, now I heard this shade is doesn't go on that great. Cause so it looks like that. It's very, it is very sheer. Like when you look at it and you look like you think it's gonna be very intense. This one here, you think it's gonna be very intense, but it's not really. But I'm gonna break it a little bit. We're gonna go, we're gonna dig in a little bit more. Cause sometimes you gotta really warm them up a little bit. And then I'm gonna pack it a little bit more right there. Now this one is a little crumbly, but it's okay, we haven't done anything else, so we're fine. It's, but it's very subtle. It's not dramatic at all, but it's really pretty. It's a subtle, it's a really soft, subtle, glittery look to it. 
can see. Looks very soft and pretty, like very soft and pretty. And I'm gonna blend that out. Yeah, that's really pretty. Every time I say the word beautiful or pretty, I thought, you know, that's when you know you should do a drinking game. <laughs> oh man, let me tell you. Okay, see, that's a beautiful game. It's just a habit. I have a habit. I need to go in and like, okay, you know, this is Thoris and I need to pick out some more words to say. <laughs> but I'm country. That's the way it works. So anyway, guys, uh, let me do, I'm going to do another little small coat of mascara and I'm going to do some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are back. So I've got my lashes on and this is the new um, House of Lashes Bordure Light. Um, and I got a new, um, by Velour, it's a glue, a new glue. I actually like it. The Velour glue is good. It just dries really quick. So you have to put it on really fast. So you need to put it on and then stick the lashes on. Don't let it wait. Um, and then you sometimes have to kind of go to behind it a little bit. And I thought this was clear, but I actually picked it up in the black. But they have it in a clear too. But, um, it worked out really good. And these lashes are really pretty. What do you think? They're really, they're really pretty. The look is very beautiful. I haven't done any foundation or anything like that because we're getting ready to do all that right now. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it, okay? Um, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do a little bit of the LeBage. It's in the uh, LeBage. It's the Healthy Light Glow Fluid, Highlighting Fluid. And this one is in Pearly Glow. And so we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to go ahead and brighten up the face a little bit with it. Take a little bit of my redness out because I was outside today and as you can tell even with sunscreen I got a little I'm I'm you know American Indian so I get that red so it just kind of pops through but see it just gives that really beautiful glow to the skin it looks so pretty um and don't worry about it in my eyes I haven't really cleaned up a lot yet underneath it I did a little bit but not a lot because I'm gonna wait and do that with some concealer so um so anyway now that we've got that on now we're gonna get into one of the stars of the show, and this is the uh, Le Beige Eau de Detente Water Tint. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever used this before, but this is a really, really good product. I've used it. I've had this one now for about a year. It's very fresh and very light, and it's very unique. Light to a medium coverage, the gel texture, micro droplets, so when you put it on the skin, it's kind of unique. Um, and it leaves like a radiant, healthy glow. So if you don't really want a really heavy foundation or anything, this is really, really great. So what I'm going to do is you take it on the back of the hand. We're gonna, just a little bit, a little bit here. Shake it just a little bit. And we're going to take it on the back of the hand. And this is what it's going to look like. I have it in the shade um, Light Deep. I'm going to take my BK brush. See, it's very runny. It's very runny. I'm going to take my BK brush. And I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand. And you kind of warm it up and see how it kind of look, what it kind of looks like very fresh and light like so we're just going to take it and put it all over the skin so it's very it's not like your typical kind of a foundation it's very different so it feels very refreshing it feels very it feels like water so when you put it on the skin it feels like an essence or something when you put it on the skin but see it just evens it out a little bit you can see the evenness coming and it's just so cool it's a very unique kind of a product I've never seen a product like this before. Um, this is $65. It's $65 and there's eight shades in it. Um, so it's not it's not bad. See, see pretty, it just makes my skin, it's like an even better, makes your skin look even better type product. But you can put it on with your hands if you wanted to. It just does a little bit better when you don't. It's better to do it with a brush or um, if you do it with a sponge, it's gonna go directly in the sponge. That's why I definitely don't, you, you can use a sponge to blend it later, but it'll just go directly into the, um, the sponge. Cause it's so watery. It is so pretty. Ooh, so beautiful that looks. Oh, so beautiful. It's so summery and fresh and light. It's just gorgeous. Now we're gonna do another one of my favorite Chanel products and that is the Chanel Essential um, Palette Essential. So it looks like this. So it has your concealer in it. It has this is blush, and this is highlight. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna use, you can use these all together, or you can use them underneath, or you can use them alone because it's kind of like a little weekend kit. So it's really really awesome. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the the concealer and we're gonna start. I'm gonna just use it on this palette, and we're just gonna start cleaning up this underneath. So pretty. 
Isn't that pretty? In the background a little bit, my roommate may, she has a TV on, so if you hear a little, you might hear a sound or something, that may be the TV. Um, sometimes you can hear it, sometimes you can't in the videos. Um, but for the most part, it's like, you know, she, um, she keeps it down pretty low, so it's not like really loud, but usually, but sometimes you can hear it, especially with, um, the sound. Isn't it pretty? It's just such a beautiful product, and it's so great. And this comes in, I think there's like three colors. There's a light one, there's a medium one. This is the medium one. I think the beige medium one, and then there's a darker one. And um, there's one with a little bit more, um, and each one of them has different uh, blush colors in it. And you can also use them as a corrector too. I've used them as a corrector too, and it works out really good. The, um, the Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. So this is what it looks like. I have the shade uh, number 50, um, and it looks dark, but really it's not that bad. So we're gonna take my Tati Blender, and I'm just gonna take it and we're just gonna go in and we're gonna press it into the skin. And I just wanna just make this look a little bit more colorful. And just to press that in. And you can also dust it over the skin if you wanted to. If you wanna just use it like a, just a regular powder. But, um, cause this is just perfect for me, especially this time of year when I start getting more color see it just give you like a little bit more it's still got a glow but it just toned down the shine a little bit now let's just look so just bronzy and fresh and just like it's just just perfect for like going outside it's just so nice it's just beautiful absolutely stunning just love this okay so now i'm going to take a little bit of my chanel it's the LeBeige and the illuminating glow powder it's illuminating glow powder illuminating powder and i have it in sunset and this is kind of like more of like a bronzer and i'm going to use a bronzer in a minute so we're not going to use a little bit i'm just going to take a little bit of this this is very very we're going to take this a little bit through here just to finish dusting this out a little bit and there's only two shades in this one so now for the other star of the show. So if you guys are new to Chanel or you don't know anything about it, so Chanel used to have the Soleil de, I can never say it, Soleil Ton de, de, de Chanel. Okay, so this is the older one. It's the bronzing makeup base. Okay, so it looks like this. I'm sorry, this is my roommate. So it's like, you know, so this is kind of like what it, she's used it for a while. They don't make this one anymore. This one discontinued. They have a newer one now. So they reformulated, they got rid of this one and they reformulated it and they made a newer one. But the shade was supposed to be the same as this one, which it is, it's kind of close, but it's not completely. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand here. And we're just gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of swatch it right there on the back of my hand. You can see it. See on me, you can barely see it. It's not, it's supposed to be a universal one, but this is why everybody got complaints about it because it was always too light. But if you were light and you were more of a light to me and more of someone that's more darker, you can forget it. It's not gonna show up at all. So Chanel finally came out with one that's a little darker. So now we have the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in the uh, shade um, Tan Deep Bronze. And I'm going to take it out. So again, the comparison, this is the comparison. This is the older one. This is the newer. So, I mean, so now the formula has coconut oil in the new one. The old one did not. So if you guys are allergic to coconut oil, this one, the new one, you will not be able to wear. So if you're allergic to it, just number one, that's like, I think it's like the number two or three ingredient in the product. Yep. It's the second ingredient. It's hydrogenated, hydrogenate, hydrogenated coconut oil. So just be very wary of that. So again, if you're allergic to coconut oil, you won't be able to use the new one. Um, but this, but, but the, but the packaging is very similar. And the only thing is now it says Le Beige Chanel and the old one says Soleil de Tan de Chanel. And then on the back of it, it had the um, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And on the back of the old one, it said Bronzing Makeup Base on the back of the old one. I don't know if you can see that or not, <laughs> if you can see it. But, um, so now we're going to open it up and see. So I wanted to see what it smells like because the other one has a little bit of a smell. The older one did. Yeah, this one had like your typical, has your Chanel smell to it. And we're just going to take, oh, oh, I meant to swatch it. I'm so sorry. I was getting excited. I was getting all into it. So again, it's very creamy. So when you first get it, they're always very creamy. So that's kind of like what it looks like. So we're going to, so again, if you can see, this is the older one. This is the newer. Let me get a little bit more to swatch it better. This is the newer. See the difference? Look at the difference in that. So, I mean, you know, if you're lighter and you even the new one, the, the new one is a little bit, I think it's a little bit more, 
a little bit more, not yellow, but it's got a little bit more um, color to it. But the um, but if you're darker, this is definitely going to be better for you. So, I mean, but it looks really, really beautiful. So, I'm very excited because now I can finally use it. Because before, I used to love watch Tati. And Tati would talk about it all the time, how much she loved it. It was so wonderful and yada, yada. And then whenever I bought it, I was so disappointed with it. I ended up giving it away. So, I never even use it. So, we're going to take a little bit here. And we're going to start out here. And I'm kind of use it like a little bit of, not a contour cream, but just a little bit like a bronzer and a contour cream together. And we're going to blend that in and a little bit up through here. Right through here. And it is showing up. I mean, that's a good thing for me because I'm like, Oh, and it's just so pretty. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. The other one was really beautiful. You just couldn't see it, but dang. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm-hmm. You guys, I'm telling you, these bronzers, first, at first it was Gucci. Okay, then I got addicted to the Gucci. Well, then, then it was, um, God, I'm trying to think of what the next one was. It's like then I then Victoria Beckham yesterday, that one. Then I had the cream Denessa Myricks, the contour cream, but it, you can use it like a bronzer. Um the Patrick Ta has been okay. It's not been my favorite. It's still a little yellow on me, so I feel like it's a little yellowish. Um and I might need a, a different color in it, maybe, but I'm not gonna do that. But I'm not gonna go and buy another color because we, we can't afford to do that. But it is but it is really pretty. But the Gucci is normally my favorite, but now the Victoria the other day, I was like blown away by that. If you guys saw my Victoria Beckham review, it was absolutely stunning. Um so it was really, really pretty. Like it is so warm in here. Woo, it is hot in this house. And then with the shirt on, I am like really warm. I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose because I always do. So I'd like a little bit right here to kind of give me a little bit more glow. A little bit through here, and I'm gonna take a little bit more down through here. Because we're gonna do just a little bit of blush in a minute. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Oh yeah. Wow, that is so pretty. That just goes right into your skin. It looks really beautiful. It's seamless. You don't see a lot. It's got like a really pretty, it's got a little bit of a glow to it. Um, it's not, cause do you know, these are like a little bit more on my matte side. So they're not really like super glowy, but you can still see a glow in it. I could definitely see the coconut oil bringing it out a little bit more, but that is just beautiful. So beautiful. The uh, Pre de Tomps and the, the one that was left over from spring and the blush and the highlighter. And we're gonna do that as our blush today. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I'm just take it and just put it on, add a little bit over the skin. It's just such a pretty blush. Now this blush is discontinued, guys. It's not, they're no longer making it anymore. Um, it's still on the Chanel site, but it says sold out, and it's not. And there, as far as I know, um, you can keep checking. I mean, there might be a possibility that they made did they did so well with it that they may actually bring it back. But, um, but yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure about that. So don't quote me on it. But right now, there, but it is not there right now. So just to give you guys a little FYI about that. Again, a lot of people don't like these. I think I used it in one of my videos earlier. But see, it's just very, very, um, shimmery. It's very, very light, light, beautiful. I have it in golden light. This is an old one. This one's discontinued. So this one they no longer make anymore. But I love them because they're very balmy. And I like that. So I'm just taking it because I like, you know me, I like to look like a tin man. <laughs> you, you guys know me by now. I love me some glow. Me look like I'm like Greasy City. I just love, love it. It's in the lip contour. And this is in number three, I believe. Number three. And again, it's like a very pinky kind of shade. So we're going to do a little bit of that. Thanks. So I got the lip liner on. I took just a little bit of my concealer in there, just a little bit, because I wanted to make sure that I just had it kind of smoothed out. So um, we're going to take a new shade in the Rouge Coco Flash, and this is in the um, 54 Boy. So, I mean, if you guys haven't seen the Coco Flash, um, I have the shade Chance, and that one's really, really beautiful. Um, but I'm going to take this one in. This one um, is below, I mean, it's a little bit below the window, but see, that's what it looks like. It's a very nude-ish 
nudey, kind of really fresh, light nude. And I wanted to do a pink limp liner with it, so it just really made like a beigey nude color. These feel amazing. They feel so good on the lips. Cause they're like a glossy balm, and they're just so pretty. thinking so far. Isn't it beautiful? It's just a beautiful, do I look bronzy, goddessy, and fabulous looking? <laughs> lips. A lip. Mm, I love that lip color. That's a beautiful combination together. It's really, really pretty. I do like it. So, what are our final thoughts? So, um, you know, overall, you know, uh, most of this stuff, again, I've had, I mean, the, um, the highlighting fluid, I absolutely love it. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, the Chanel, the um, illuminating powder and the actual um, sheer powder, I love both of those to set and to kind of get just a little bit more extra bronze if you want. Um, then the, you know, then this, the new cream. This one's really pretty, so I have to say it. Do you need it? It's six. I mean, at fifty dollars. I mean, do you need it? Is it something you need? No, not really. I mean, if you have some of the other ones, the Gucci, or you have like um, you have the new Victoria Beckham. If you bought that one, um, I mean, you've got enough bronzers. I mean, if you really need a new one, or if you like a cream bronzer, this would be something that I would pick up. Um, if you don't really need a new bronzer or if you don't use cream i would probably skip it i mean because it's not something and if you again if you if you're allergic to coconut oil just be weary that there is a second ingredient so it just would be something that um you probably just wouldn't enjoy you probably wouldn't get anything out of it um you know most skin types can use this oily i would probably be a little hesitant with the oily if you're oily because it is a cream and even though it dries a little bit to a matte finish um, and you can also use it like a makeup base too, which um, I wouldn't, I mean, recommend all over because your makeup would just slide everywhere because eventually the coconut oil is going to come out through so you're going to get a glow. But, you know, for us dry skin people, that's fabulous. But for somebody that's oily or combination, that may not be something that you want later on, you know, whenever you're doing your makeup or, you know, later on in the day. But um, but it is a really, really beautiful product, I have to say. Go to the, um, the Essential Palette. You know, I love the these are great um if you need a concealer or you're going away for a weekend this is great it's got your concealer your highlighter your a blush has everything in one if you're dry or if you're like combo or normal you would really like this is a great getaway these drops are just really beautiful a little bit of this goes a long way one of these will last you two years so some people, a lot of people use this as a highlighter too. You could use it underneath all over like I did, or you can use it as a uh, illuminator. These are great. And I also have the rosy light drops, which is a little bit more pinker than this one. And this one has another color in it, so it's a little bit deeper if you want a little bit deeper one. Um, but it is really, really beautiful. This is just gorgeous. I just love this product. Um, I've always loved it. It's really beautiful. The Chanel foundations never really, except for the velvet, I wasn't really crazy about that one. And the there's another one, the Vitamalier. It was okay. Um, and there's some of their older ones, but the LeBeige one I love. The Sublimage I love. This is just really, really beautiful too. So, and I mean, if you're if you're oily combination, normal, I think you would all like it. It's just really, really fresh. It's very, very light. You would just, if you're just oilier, you would just pat it down a little bit more with more powder but it's just really gorgeous and the shade selection is pretty good because it's so watery i mean you can kind of mix it in so i think a lot of the shade can kind of get by with it just be weary if your skin is a little bit darker um you know just trying to find a shade but you might be able to find one in it because i think this one is the uh, there's one more after this one, or maybe there's two more. I can't remember, but um, this one is the light deep. But I'm sure you can. It's so lightweight, you might be able to find something in that in the Chanel. Um, you know, the blush, of course, unfortunately, it's discontinued. So I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Um, the boy lipstick, yeah, I'm all for this. This this is this is a good color, man. It's really really beautiful. It's a very beautiful color. It's very pretty. It's very nudey, but it's like it's got. And I did it with that pink liner. And it just gave me that beautiful beigey pink look, which is exactly what I wanted with this look. Because I was thinking about maybe doing a brighter color with it, which you could. And a really bright coral or a bright red would look really beautiful with this look. I just wanted something very beachy and very weekendish looking. And that's what I was kind of going for. But it just looks really, really stunning. So I really, really like it. Um, you know, my rose corrector, you know, I love it. It's fabulous. There's not anything in Chanel that I don't love. But I do want to say one thing, though, before I do leave. Let's talk about the mascara. 
Okay, the mascara, I got it, it's a sample. Um, and again, it's the La Volume Revolution de Chanel. Um, it's very wet. It's very, very wet. I'll show you the brush real quick, but it's very, see if you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but see, it's very, the brush is unique. I like the brush. It's just that a lot comes off on it. So it's very, very wet and it's a little, see a lot, there's a gloop on the, the, the it's got a little pointy end to it. Um, it's very interesting. It's just very wet and it gets a little messy. Um, it is really pretty though. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it did a pretty good job. I put a little bit more over top of the lashes too towards the end. Um, and it did a pretty good job. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just, I have to try it a little bit longer and then give you guys an idea of whether I really like it or not. Cause I have like about two or three more samples of it. So I'll try it and see what we think. Um, you know, before I actually think about whether I want to buy it or where it would be with something that I would want to keep. Um, cause usually the Chanel mascaras I'm not very impressed with. I've tried a few of them and I'm not been very impressed with them but i mean i might like it a little bit more the more i use it um but it is really I pretty the same <laughs> the elder you're like oh my god i can't play girl the compact um so the, the, the eyeshadow palette it's really beautiful it's very natural it goes on very it goes on very light um it's not a, not a ton of pigment um, it's not like some of their other shadows that are in the four pans. They're a little bit more pigmented. These are just made to be very natural, very light, uh, you know, washes of color, very soft, you know, very day-like. Um, you know, you can drama them out a little bit. I mean, you know, usually, they're, but they're just more of like a natural kind of palette. So when you pick up a La Beige palette, just know that it's going to be a little bit more of a lighter color. They're kind of foolproof, really, to be honest with you. They're very foolproof. You can't go wrong. Someone that is very intimidated by eyeshadow then you're a little worried that you can't blend it or you can't do very well with it or they kind of freak you out a little bit. Um, this one's a little bit more foolproof, so you might be more comfortable with the LeBage instead of doing one of the other ones where they're a little bit more pigmented and you got to blend a little bit, though. I do like it. It's really beautiful. Um, you know, but do you need it? I mean, is it like, I mean, it's like a, a million other shadows that I have. I mean, is it something that you have to have? Not really. I mean, it's just something if you're, again, if you're a Chanel lover and you love Chanel and you love collecting Chanel and you think it's really wonderful because again, when you guys think of a Chanel, you have to think of it as a fashion piece. So when you're buying it, you're buying like a piece of fashion, basically. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're buying Chanel or Dior or Yves Saint Laurent or Armani or any of those brands that are like more of a fashion house. Um, you know, like even Victoria Beckham, she's a fashion house. So just keep that in mind when you're doing, when you're kind of buying things, you know, to keep in mind that they are designer and that's why they're luxury and they're a little bit more expensive. But I mean, do you need it? I mean, do you have other shadows just like it? Yes. If you have colors very similar to it, I would just stick with what you have or maybe, you know, maybe something less expensive that you've seen maybe possibly. But I mean, but it is, if you're a collector and you live Chanel, I would definitely pick it up because it is really beautiful. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it for me. You know, if you guys have actually like this video then please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and because I work really hard on these videos and I spend so much time on them and editing them and everything it just and paying for all this stuff and everything it really does help um if you didn't like it then I don't know what to tell you because you just don't like it <laughs> I mean, maybe you were bored. Maybe you hated it. You know, I have that. I probably, probably do. That probably drive you guys crazy about midway through. But anyway, um, you know, that's it. So you guys, please be be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, and you know, most of all, um, be nice. You know, just a little kindness goes off a long way, and sharing kindness to someone else can really pay off in the long run. So anyway, just keep that in mind, and you know, have a good rest of your day, and you know, and we will see you again in the next episode when we do Barbie. Barbie! I bought the ColourPop Barbie collection. So if you guys are on my Instagram, you probably saw that. So just that will be in the next episode. Just giving you a heads up. So, um, so anyway, please take care. Have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you soon. Bye in the next episode. Bye-bye.